Hello and welcome back to the top 85 games for the BBC Micro video countdown. In at number 69 is a game called Galactic Commander. Now this game was released by uh, Micropower. Um, it's come out under a number of different names. So Galactic Commander is, is the name that I know it by, but uh, it also came out under the name of Space Commander Test as well. Um, and uh, yeah, this game came out um, in uh, 1983 from Micropower or Program Power as they are sometimes referred to. Um, and it's a game which has a very long pedigree. Um, in fact, this game can claim to have possibly the longest pedigree of any uh, arcade game uh, that certainly that I'm aware of. Um, and that's principally because the, the sort of formulation of the game uh, started back in 1969. So um, a, uh, a young 17 year old Jim Storer uh, over in the US after watching the, uh, the Apollo lunar landings, um, he came up with the idea of what was then a text based uh, computer game, uh, which he called the lunar landing game. Uh, this was a turn based game where uh, you would be prompted to provide directions uh, and instructions for your lunar landing module um, and you had to get the instructions correct uh, and ensure that your uh, lunar vehicle landed on the moon surface successfully. Um, this was later followed up uh, by the DEC GT40 game Moonlander in 1973 which was developed by Jack Burness uh, and this took the, the, uh, the original lunar landing concept um, and uh, used vector graphics to uh, move away from the text based version. Um, and then perhaps the sort of most famous uh, of the lunar landing games was Lunar Lander uh, in 1979 from Atari, which, uh, which was released as an Atari cabinet game uh, for the arcades. Uh, if you're interested in hearing more about the, uh, the history of the game, do check out Ben Jedward's article on Technologizer. There's a link for it uh, below this video. Um, and it gives you a fascinating insight into the history uh, of this game. But uh, in this video, we're going to be looking at the BBC Micro version Galactic Commander, which comes with its own special features and, um, dare I say, humorous asides, uh, as we shall see. So, let's get started. Okay, here we go. Now, this is the colour edition of uh, Galactic Commander, uh, or indeed Space Commander Test, um, as the uh, title says there. Uh, there is a black and white version as well, but uh, we're going to be looking at the colour version in this video. So here you go, there's a nice little bit of a description there um, explaining that this is effectively a simulation um, for aspiring space commanders. Um, now your controls are basically a right hand and left hand thruster jet and a main jet which um, controls your direction up and down. And um, what's nice about this game is that you have a choice of which level to start on. So to complete the game, you're supposed to complete all nine levels. I've never done that personally, as you shall see why. Um, but uh, yes, the nice thing is you don't have to uh, get through the earlier levels in order to get to the more challenging ones. So we're going to start with level one. And what I'll try and do is give you a flavor of each of the levels, uh, regardless of my success or otherwise, uh, as we go through the game. There we go, nice little bit of uh, jingly music there. So uh, in this one, this is our very uh, very first level, so it's it's a very basic gameplay. There's our uh, lunar or galactic commander up in the top. Okay, so in common with Santa's sleigh, we've got the old uh, white noise effect here for the uh, for the jet. So, ooh. so as you can see, I can control my left and right, and then if I use uh, the the return key, I can slow the descent by applying a, a vertical uh, jet, jet thruster. So we have to be very, very gently lower the Lunar Commander down and just touch gently. There we are. Level complete. So now we're on level two. So this time the, uh, the challenge is that the gravity force is going to be a bit stronger. So it's going to fall um, a lot more quickly. There you go. Whoa. <laughs> So, yes, this is, whoa, okay, this is quite uh, quite a challenge, you have to keep the both right and main thrusters on here. Okay, so come in to a gentle stop, just, oh no, <laughs> we're, we're sailing away now, oh, 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 oh
I do like the fact that this game uh, has has a laugh at your expense. Ha ha, you're completely dead. Uh, yes, there's no shades of death here. It's completely dead. Okay, so what we're going to do um, is we've seen obviously level one and two there. So let's let's go to level three this time. So for this one, um, it's like the first level, except that someone's trying to shoot at you, uh, or indeed the the lunatic, as, as the game kindly puts it. Um, so here we go. We're gonna. Oh, oh dear, I've gone off the top. There we are. Right. So we should find that. In a, yeah, there we go. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> didn't even have a chance there, did I? Ah oh, dear. It's quite quite it's uh, quite good graphics actually for the uh, the explosion. Ah, oh, ha ha, you're completely dead. Alright, well, we'll give that one one more try, actually, I think, because uh, I don't think I really got a chance to get going on that. So, okay, so our jingle intro. I have to say, I, I think that, um, you know, in addition to, you know, the main feature of this game, which is clearly the physics, um, as you know, I'm a, a big fan of uh, retro games that have a, a, a good uh, a good physics engine, like uh, Santa's Sleigh and uh, a few others that we'll be looking at. Um, but yes, I mean the graphics I think are actually really really good. I mean they're very they're very simple, but they've also got quite a nice uh, quite a nice level of detail to them. I like the sort of galactic city. Um, I think that the actual commander commander module it looks uh, looks pretty good. I like I like the sort of gentle uh, detail of the the la landing gear. I think that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, and it's it's a, it's a it's a nice game, I think. Oh, I just landed there before getting a shot. Okay, ah, yes. Now, this is where it starts to get very tricky. So, this time, we're going to be uh, unloading some cargo from our mother mothership up at the top there. So, I have to depart from the mothership. Go past the sun there. Very good. There's no no color clash at all there. I think it's uh, it just shows you that the, uh, you know, as you pass the sun, obviously, the... Uh, there's a sort of negative transparency across across your galactic commander, but it doesn't uh, doesn't have any kind of block around it, which I think is very uh, impressive. Okay, so we're going to hopefully be able to drop our cargo here. There we go. Oh no no, hang on. <laughs> you have to stay long enough for the cargo to actually uh, take off. Hang on. There we go. So there's our cargo counter at the top there gradually depleting excellent okay now we can return to our mothership um, now the trick with landing on the mothership is that you can't uh, you, you you have to come down at a precise vertical descent you can't be going left or right as you as you hit it because otherwise whoop, otherwise you will uh, explode um, and be completely dead as the game says so okay we'll just gently just gently to set oh no hang on there we go look at that not, not bad okay level five so similar principle but we're going to be being shot at as well so it's uh always good fun isn't it oh and and actually the mothership is moving i should have mentioned yes okay now this is yes i think this is the point in the in the uh the game where i uh, find that i start dying quite quickly um it's, it's quite quite difficult to uh to maneuver on this so we're gonna just come into a hopefully a gentle descent here okay just gently does it oh dear we got sh we got shot on the landing pad ha ha you're completely dead once again okay well uh i think what we'll do is we'll go to level six this time um, because it's a similar principle, it's just that things are moving a bit faster. So, here we go. This is our setup that we had last time, but as you can see, we're... Uh... Okay, Ooh, hang on. I'm going to have to... Now, the thing about that mothership is, while it may be our mothership, uh, if we collide with it, it, uh, it will just... <laughs> I was going to say it will destroy us. Oh, dear. Oh, what a burning cinder. Haha, ha, you're completely dead. Okay, well, we'll try that one again, I think. Um, didn't really couldn't quite manage to get at least get as far as descending onto the uh, landing pad there. I think you'd agree, though. I mean, it's it's um it's a I think it's a good game in a number of respects. Obviously, there's the the, the actual challenge of landing your um, galactic commander 
even without the additional challenges here, is already quite hard work. I mean, I remember as a child, just getting the thing to land on that uh, landing pad was actually hard enough. Ooh. Oh, to come over. Oh no! Oh, but um, as yeah, as the levels progress, I think these extra these extra challenges, which distinguish it from the sort of more classic Lunar Lander games, I think that's what. Oh no! <laughs> I think that's what um, marks it out as a as a quite a quite a unique game, and I think that the BBC edition of it is you know it's fantastic because uh, you know it plays around with the concept of the Lunar Lander. It doesn't just go for the sort of straightforward uh, mission landing. Okay, let's go to level seven. Okay. Ah, now we've got homing missiles. Okay. Um, do leave me a comment below if you've uh, if you've ever actually completed this game all nine levels in sequence. Well, not even in sequence, but just all nine levels. Uh, period. Apparently, you get a, a galactic commander or space commander qualification if you uh, manage to do that, which is you know quite uh, quite impressive. Um, but uh, yes, I can't say I've ever. Uh, Ever reached those heady heights myself? Oh no! Look at that! Look, it really did home in on me there. So I think the trick with this level is that you need to do it quickly, so that uh, you know that Homer doesn't have a chance to to nab you. So I think we'll, what we'll do is we'll try and let gravity do the work for us here. So let's let's do a let's do a quick quick descent, and then hopefully counteract it just before we hit the hit the pad. Here we go. Okay, almost there. Come on. There we go. Level 7 complete. Okay, now we're into level 8. Um, okay, we're... Oh, yes. Now, this the, this this level and level 9, I, I, I have never, ever managed to uh, get anywhere close to completing. Because, I mean, just trying to get past your own mothership <laughs> to get into that, <laughs> into that tunnel is incredibly hard work. <laughs> Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. This is. Uh, the, uh, oh my word. <laughs> yeah. So that, that. I mean, trying to trying to navigate your way in there with the fast moving mothership and the, the trying to navigate through those tunnels. I mean, that's almost. I don't want to say impossible. I'm sure that it is possible, just about. But for uh, somebody of my game uh, game standards, it's it's yeah, a bit of a non-starter. So, <laughs> like that crashed into my own mothership. Well, just to uh, just to uh, finish things off, so you can see just how difficult uh, this game can be, uh, we will go for level nine. And um, yeah, I, <laughs> I have to say I love the helpful hint. You have very little chance of succeeding. I think that uh, the helpful aspect of that hint is possibly a little overstated there. So yes, here we are. Um, no mothership, so I suppose that's one uh, one one thing we can be grateful for. But yeah, I mean, with those monsters jumping around, I don't think we've got any hope at all of uh, making it through this maze. But well, well, we'll do our best. There we go. Oh no! So oh, <laughs> didn't even get hit by a monster there. Well, haha, ha, you're completely dead. Tell you what, we'll, we'll give that one more try because it is quite a it's quite a fun level, uh, albeit rather impossible. Um, this is certainly where the game takes uh, takes away almost entirely from the sort of original Lunar Lander concept. You know, the uh, sort of scientific discipline of <laughs> oh, that's interesting. The monster didn't actually kill me. Um, yes, the scientific discipline of the oh no. The original Lunar Lander games is uh, almost entirely absent at this point, having introduced bouncing cave monsters. Um, but I mean, it's all—it's all very much uh, good fun, isn't it? And I think that's actually another reason why I really like this uh, version of what is, you know, a, a fairly well-established game. Is that the, the BBC version doesn't take itself at all seriously. I think whoever uh, whoever was behind the programming for this had a, a, a nice sense of humour and uh, took great delight to. Uh, Make fun of itself at its own expense, and indeed make fun of you as the uh, as the game player, which I which I think is uh, again really rather entertaining. Oh, well, here we go. Are we going to get through there? No, we're not. <laughs> oh dear. Well, 
Um, I think we'll probably leave it there because we are once again ha ha completely dead. Um, and uh, never mind, never mind for that. But that was uh, Galactic Commander, also known as Space Commander Test. Um, very uh, well deserving in of its place and in at number 69. Hope you enjoyed that. And as I said, do uh, do check out Ben Jedward's article uh, if you're interested in the sort of history of this game. Um, and uh, until then, I hope that you'll join me again for video number 68. Goodbye.